media in Sacramento, one of the TV stations, they were covering the Red Hot Preaching Conference. And they said, hey, we're here at the Red Hot Preaching Conference. And, you know, Pastor Anderson's going to preach. And these people are, you know, Brother Jimenez is going to preach and all this. And they're talking about it. So then they go to get, and, and, and look, they're portraying us as bad guys, not positive. We're bad. They go to the other side, the good guys, the loving side, the love wins side. The perverts, thank you. And they, they go to the other side, and here's what they do. They show a guy who's in like a workshop, and he's got all kinds of machinery, and he's mass producing flyers. And look, it's happening right now in Sacramento, California, because it was scheduled for this morning, a big protest where hundreds of sodomites are supposedly going to descend on Verity Baptist Church and protest. And here's what they said. They're mass producing big color signs, and the signs show images of two boys kissing each other or two girls kissing each other. Now, listen, they didn't say men and women. They said boys, girls. We're talking children. Just showing sodomy. And here's what the guy said. You watch it for yourself. Don't call me a liar. You go watch it for yourself. Who saw it? Who knows what I'm about to say? Yeah, ask any of these people if I'm telling the truth. Here's what this creepy, filthy sodomite says. He says this. He said, well, the reason we're making these signs is that we know that the families are going to be coming to Verity Baptist Church with their children, and they're going to have to drive by us and walk by us to get into the church and we want those children to see these images of boys kissing boys. And they said that a seed might be planted in their mind. Is that what they said? We want to show images of sodomy unto children that a seed might be planted in their mind. And you know what? The news media plays it like it's the most normal thing in the world, just as natural as rain. And I'm a bad guy. Pastor Jimenez is a bad guy, and we're so mean and hateful. Where a, a, a dirty pedophile can get on TV and just literally say, my goal is to make hundreds of, of disgusting images, and it's, it's designed to be shown to Christian children. And let me tell you something. There, you know, there's a line out, I guarantee you, in heaven today, I promise you, there's a line of angels up there just like, Reporting to God saying, you know what they showed the kid that I'm watching out for? You know what they show my little Johnny? My little Susie? My little Joe? You know, the one that you assigned me, Lord, to protect them and guard them and keep them? There was a dude out there and there were hundreds of filthy people out there trying to show them images of sodomy. And I guarded them the best I could, Lord. And you know what God's going to do? He's going to destroy them all. Yeah. Woe unto them. I guarantee, look, woe unto that guy. Amen. You had your little moment in the sun with the filthy television media. And it's so funny. Some people thought, no, nobody from our church or, or from that church, but outsiders from the world said, oh, you were too hard on the media because I, I was screaming at him in the sermon. I'm like, you in the back. You know, and I was just like <laughs> railing on them. And I told them to their faces before the service. And somebody asked me, well, if you already told them before the service, why'd you do it again from the pulpit and publicly humiliate them? Because they deserve both. That's, right. That's why. Yeah. And I got up and I screamed at them and I told them how it was. You know what? You can't be too hard on somebody that would put that on TV like it's normal. Right. Amen. Hey, let's show this to children. Ah. Stone them with stones. Amen. Leviticus 20:13. I mean, it, look, this is the world we're living in. It's like the days of Lot. Woe unto, but now look, that's an extreme example, but none of us, we don't want to offend children in any way, in any way. Be careful. So I hope that this sermon would help you to have a greater understanding of what a stumbling block is and to understand, look, woe unto you when God makes you stumble, number one. Number two, we need to make sure not to make our brothers and sisters stumble. And number three, let's dead sure not make our children stumble. Let's protect them. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's bow our heads and have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so much 
for everything that you've done for us, Lord, at this church and the exciting things that are happening and the amazing things that you're doing at, at, at uh, Verity Baptist in Sacramento this week and just all the great people that I got to meet over the last three, four days, Lord. And God, I pray that you would destroy all the workers of iniquity that are gathered at Verity outside today, Lord. I, pr I pray that you would destroy every pedophile, Lord. I know that you're receiving a lot of reports today from the angels of these children, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you would, that you, would uh, you know, come down on these people to the maximum, with the maximum punishment that you have for these people, Lord. I pray that you would confound and destroy these pedophile workers of iniquity, Lord. Amen. And that Verity Baptist Church would be blessed beyond measure, Lord. You've already blessed, Lord, but I, I pray that you would pour out a double blessing for them having to endure this kind of persecution, Lord. And that you would do things that would cause every person in California and even all over the world to marvel at your great works. And that they would be confounded and put to shame. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.